Hey everyone, Toledo Joe here, and I'm at the beautiful Calgary Cemetery here in Toledo, Ohio. I want to show you something that kind of disgusts me. It's a beautiful cemetery. They keep really good care of their grounds. But one thing that bugs the heck out of me, I'm out here trying to find my grandparents' graves, and I noticed that the flat graves on the ground, almost 90% of them are getting completely covered with grass. The field you see behind me here is not a field. There's graves all through this area, but you cannot see any of them. There's a few that I've uncovered. I kicked the ground and found some. But it's just ridiculous that they're allowing these gravestones to be completely covered with grass. And it turns out they disappear forever. They're sinking into the ground. You know, you think that a cemetery that has such a high reputation as this one wouldn't allow that. Um, I know that there's organizations out there that come out to cemeteries and dig up the graves. You know, not the graves, but you know, dig up the gravestones so that they can see the people that are buried there. But it just, it, it makes me sick. You know, I mean, you know there's three phases of death, okay? You got your physical death, you got the death of when someone puts you in the ground, and it's the third death is the last time someone speaks your name. Well, we make monuments for the dead so that we can remember them and come out to the site and see their name on the stone and remember them. Cemeteries all over the country are allowing these stones to just sink into the ground and disappear forever. And, you know, like I say, it's a beautiful cemetery here. I come out here to find my grandparents' graves, and I've been searching for a long time. And you can't find them because situations like this, where the gravestones are covered up completely. So, I mean, even, let me turn the camera around here and show you this section over here. This is where the nuns are buried, the sisters, okay? As you see behind me here, you have the this is the area behind me where the sisters are buried and even their stones are being completely covered by grass and that's what this cemetery is based on is the Catholic nuns and their grave sites so I wanted to bring that attention to you um, I come out to our family sites and clean around the stones take the grass around the stones and so that they don't get forgotten you know that's the whole idea of a cemetery so get out there and find your family's stones clean them off clean cut the grass around them so that they don't end up like this field let me show you a little more let me grab the camera here it might be a little loud I might jostle it but this is what I'm talking about okay see this these are all grave sites and there's a few sticking out, but the majority of them are completely gone forever. There's one that's barely sticking out. Come back here. Let me show you this one here. These are a couple that I saw that I kicked open. I'm bring the camera back around here. A little jostling. I'm having on a tripod, but you know. You see this stuff, and it makes you wonder. There I am. Sorry, I couldn't see it. Uh, makes you wonder, you know, how do they get away with this stuff? You know, I mean, I know it's probably not malicious. They may say, well, we don't have the manpower to make sure that all the stones are visible. But that's the reason why we put ourselves in your cemetery. Okay, so anyhow, that's just a little rant that I have. Um, like I said, I just wanted to tell you about it. So, like I said, get out there, get to your family plots, uncover those stones, you know. Remember, always speak their names. They'll never completely die until the last person says their name.